Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to install PHP 7.4 on your Ubuntu virtual machine or, you know, the, the same logic applies to um, other Linux flavors like CentOS, if you have CentOS. Um, so doing this is very easy. So the first thing I want to do is check, I want to check for my VMs, which one is running? So I'm just checking the global status. Um, ooh, that's strange. I don't have a VM running, so I'll just in install one very quickly. Um, okay, so I'll do this. I think I already have like a file in the Vibrant file in there already. Um, oh yeah, it has a multi-machine setup, so you can check out my uh, previous video on how to set up a multi-machine. Um, so I'll just fast forward this process. All right, so the um, the um, VM is up and running, so. I just check the status again. All right, so the VMs are up and running. So I'll just use one of these. Uh, let me use this one. So I'll just SSH into it. That's all I'm going to do. So um, now I'm inside of the VM. I'll just clear my screen. Okay. So now we act, we'll start with the actual installation of the um php now php has some dependencies um so php has some modules that it uses it also has some dependencies th that may be required for it to run okay so um i'll just show you step by step how to get all of th these things installed so the first thing you want to do is to let's add a dependency um for php um it's kind of like useful anyway you can skip it it's not compulsory but it's kind of useful so you do sudo apt get install software properties software properties come on and apt oops apt transport transport https you don't need to cram all of this i'll just i'll add it in the video description as well so you can run it um i'm just adding this y flag because i want it to install without interruption so basically it silences the it's not going to ask you do you want to do this it will just install straight away so it's like giving express permissions okay um all right so this is good everything is good here um now the next thing we want to do is to add the repository for php itself and this particular repository covers for php 7.4 8.0 8.1 i think it covers all the way from 7 to 8.1 actually so you should be just fine with it um if 8.2 comes out there might be a different repository or it might be added to this now to add a repository not just php you need to use the add apt repository command so we're doing sudo add as you would notice everything i'm doing i'm adding the sudo command because i'm not using the root user and i wouldn't even recommend that you you should use the root user to run um, anything for you know for the fear of breaking something accidentally so add apt repository so this is the actual command for adding any repository not just php okay uh, so the php repository is ppa on drag on dredge forward slash php okay and i'll just add the y flag again so that it does it without asking me questions 
so this might take uh, a couple seconds maybe a minute thereabouts depending on how fast your internet is how fast your internet and even the computer itself but you know this should be re relatively fast okay so it's done about 20.8 megabytes all right so this is done now the next thing very compulsory please you have to run an update so you run sudo apt get update so you must run this update and the reason is that because you just added a new repository to your app source lists um, Linux needs to recheck it's like it's just as if um, look at it at this way if you install a new software on your computer sometimes it asks you to restart because if you don't restart that software will not work properly so it's just the same logic so again I'm just going to add the flag the wife the yes flag all right then uh, we'll run an upgrade so sudo apt get upgrade I'll just say yes again so there's some obviously there's some updates that's why it's doing all of this stuff it's checking everything so this wouldn't take much time again the one that will actually take longer to install is installing the PHP itself that might take a bit longer depending on the speed of your internet and your computer's um, speed okay so now to install PHP so this is the best part all right um, so there are two um, I'll call it two versions of or versions or types of PHP formats basically don't confuse yourself at this stage if it if you're relatively new to it but think of PHP as running in different modes so you have the regular PHP you have PHP FPM you have SU PHP and a couple others all right so we'll just install the basic right now and then PHP also has modules like I mentioned earlier modules are like add-ons that allow PHP to do um, certain things if you want to be able to zip a file for example with PHP you need to install the zip add-on for PHP if you want to be able to do mathematical calculations with PHP you need to add that add-on for it so um, well, what we'll do now is we'll install PHP 7.4 and the common models they call it common models there are some extra modules that you may need or you may not need but we'll just do the basics for now the more modules you're adding the more it has to download from the internet and install you can go ahead and install everything I think what I'll do is in the video description I'll put two different commands one is for the minimal installation and the second one is to install all of the PHP modules okay so to install now we'll do sudo apt get install um, I'll just say yes again uh, PHP 7.4 okay so uh, PHP 7.4 yep and uh, I'll just do PHP like I said I'll install just the common dash common PHP 7.4 dash common okay so this is all I need for now the rest can come later I can you can always install all of these modules later you don't have to install everything in one sweep okay you can even if a module is needed in the future you can still install it with the same sudo app gets install and then you put if it's um, if it's um, just say crypt pcrypt for, for example you say php 7.4 crypt something like that okay so this is fine and then I'll just execute this so this part might take um, 
couple minutes ranging from 5 to 15 minutes for the installation so um, while this is working you might want to grab some tea and relax and once it's done you know at the end of the video so I'm going to just skip right ahead and fast track this okay so we're back to this it's and now it's done actually so it didn't take that long um, if you remember we were somewhere around here so this is where we executed the command and it's been doing all of this it was just downloading all of this stuff um, so you'd see and then this is when it's finished downloading and then it started the installation so uh, this is the installation by itself i didn't run any extra commands this is php doing its thing linux is doing its thing by itself it's automated so don't get worried that um, maybe something has been run so i didn't touch any other thing and here it's done okay so if you want to confirm um that php has actually been installed you just write php hyphen v so you see php 7.4 cli so this is the cli version that has been installed okay um so yeah that's how you install php 7.4 on your computer if you want to install additional modules let me just show you so uh let's say we want to install uh let me think of something a mysql uh, PHP 7.4 MySQL module. So you just do sudo apt get install PHP 7.4. Notice how I have written this and how I wrote the first one. It's the same thing. So you follow the same pattern. Okay, just follow. Um, so MySQL. So it's going to download the MySQL module and install it as you would see i didn't touch any other thing and it has installed it that's it okay so that's how to install php 7.4 and also how to install a module as well okay um, thanks for watching